This game is telling me that we cannot afford a coffee machine and that instead I can offer him a $2,400 bonus. I think I'll take the $200 out of my pocket and buy a really good coffee machine and call it a day. I'm Sherry, and I'm an entrepreneurship professor and media executive. I'm a producer as well as a production head. I've run companies. I primarily focus in animation and kids, although I've done quite a bit of primetime animation as well. I was the original producer on both The Simpsons and Family Guy. I helped launch the Cartoon Network with Dexter's Laboratory, Powerpuff Girls, Johnny Bravo, Cow and Chicken. Well, I think I definitely have the experience and the skill set to be able to build a business and run a business. Uh, the question is, how realistic is the game? All right, let's do it. Start a new game. Wants me to name my startup. Well, we're going to call it Super Startup. I have to configure your, my CEO to get started. And this CEO. And now I have to choose whether she's a manager or an accountant. I'm going to choose the manager because it's very important to manage your people. Now I have to create a website. Um, and it's either a social media one, a shopping platform, or a streaming service. I'm going to go ahead and do a social media one. I think we're going to call it Latergram. Select whether you want an investor or take a bank loan. I'm definitely going to go with the investor mode. I'm more comfortable with that route. An investor is potentially a strategic investor. They can provide you with some resources. They like to see you grow as opposed to a loan, which is just a strict, here's your money, pay interest on it starting now. Hi there, nice to meet you. My name is Pam and I'm your new advisor from Johnson Invest. An investor is is going to want to put somebody in your company to make sure their money is protected. Every time you complete a milestone, a payment will be made instantly. I'm going to go ahead and take the building that they recommended. You want to make your investor happy. It's an office that allows 10 workstations. That seems like a good size for me at this starting stage. So milestone one is now completed. I don't think an investor is going to hold up money until you get rent. Next, we need to get you started on a desk. Wow, this uh, investor doesn't have a lot of expectations here. Her menu and we're gonna buy a beginner desk. And this CEO, which is presumably me, uh, we're going to select it. Milestone two is now completed. So now the CEO is $55,000 in. We're now ready to hire some employees. Click your CEO, if not selected already, to headhunt and to hire your first employees according to the next milestone in the top right Corner. So on a social media site, I would presumably need developers to build the application itself. I would also need to hire a team that really understood the marketplace and what kind of features we need to build. We need to hire marketing people to go out and sell advertising, which is how we would make our money. So we're going to go with developer first. So as a CEO of a startup, you have to wear many, many hats. You have to be a recruiter, you have to be HR, you have to be manager, you have to be everything. Okay, I have a candidate here. Looks pretty good. Going to negotiate salary with him. As a startup, you can't pay huge salaries, but what you can offer employees in a startup is stock options as the company succeeds that they will continue to grow with the company. So since he's a beginner level guy, I'm gonna offer him 5,000 a month. Sean came back to me, counter offered at 5,700. I think that will actually work with our budget, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it because you wanna make sure he's happy and doesn't feel undervalued. So I'm gonna hire my designer next. Okay, so I have two candidates so far. I'm gonna wait for a third to kind of decide who I wanna hire here. I think I'm gonna stop this uh, recruiting process and I'm gonna go with Vera. She's a beginner, but her speed is better than the other beginners. Since she's also going to be a team leader, we're gonna offer her 5,400. So she came back at 6,200. So we're gonna move on. That's gonna be above our budget. We're gonna go with the next fastest guy, try to hire him for that price and see how it goes. Lake accepted our offer at 5,700. So we're gonna go with that. So we're gonna have Ryan start with the blueprint and then move on to the wireframe and then he'll create the graphics, and then the user interface. And now we're gonna go to Sean. I now have Milestone 3 completed because I've hired my people. I'm gonna have him build the UI component first and then build the backend component. And that'll get Sean plenty busy for the moment. Next, we need to do some researching in order to get started with our website. So now I need to add a landing page. To upgrade the landing page, you will need your employees to produce the required components. Okay, so we now have a landing page, but it looks like I need to upgrade it. We're a little slow off the start. 
Obviously, um, this is very typical in a startup. We have to get people used to what the goals are and perform at optimal level. You have to listen to your customer. That is probably the single most important lesson uh, that an entrepreneur needs to learn. We have beginner employees, so they're just not quite as prolific and fast as they could be. So we're not gaining users as quickly as we could. All right, we've now completed milestone number five. So we're getting there. Wow, your new landing page will definitely make people excited about Latergram. All we need to do is a bit of marketing to get some traffic. We are gonna go after any gender users and we're gonna create our campaign because we want both. Audience reached is 7%, my conversion rate is 5%. That's actually not bad at all. So this is with a thousand dollar budget because it's getting a nice conversion rate. I'm gonna go ahead and double my budget so we can get lots of users. Now it's time to get back to our website and add more features. So again, it's sort of cyclical. You get more people on board and then they'll tell you what's missing and what they don't like about it. So in order to upgrade my features, I need more experienced developers and I need to boost up my development team. So I'm gonna add another desk and I'm going to hire a researcher so that we can keep getting more points to hire with. Obviously you have to understand your market and you have to understand your customer, but that's not always done by a researcher. It's often done by market knowledge with the people you hire or your understanding. So we're going to hire Shane and because he's a lead developer, we're going to offer him 9,000 per month. So he accepted. Excellent. Oh, shoot, I overoffered him. I thought I was dealing with the lead developer. That would never happen in the real world, obviously. I think there are some elements to this that would teach you how to run a business. Unfortunately, if this was a real business, the very first step you'd need to do is find your investor. What's really important is progress. We took a little bit here, as you can see on this line, to get our team up to speed, to get them to produce the necessary elements for us to even launch and to be able to upgrade to the point where users now like coming on board. I'm gonna go ahead and bet on the fact that we've now increased our functionality four times, and so we really need to get the word out there. We're ready for more users. So we're gonna go ahead and spend way more money on marketing. See, we went from 20 to 160 users. We've got a little bit of a problem here, which is totally expected and totally part of the game. You have your employees, they're working at full capacity. You have demand from the marketplace. You have to continually upgrade your features. In the meantime, you have to hire more people in order to add more functionality. I'm gonna add a lead developer now so that we could start getting a little bit more help. Our lead developer is going to sit over here. So we're gonna task our lead developer with what we need in order to move forward most efficiently. We've hit a little bit of a scary time in the company here. Our money is running low. As soon as we hit a point in the, in the uh, business where they've produced the uh, functionality for the next upgrade, we will be able to get more money from the investors will hit the next milestone. So this is very exciting. We got to the point where our landing page can now actually be more than just the landing page. We're adding a comment functionality because our, our developers have been working around the clock and getting things done. Now we're going to add um, functionality. So we've hit milestone number seven. Woohoo, we just got more money. So we skated by. Great work, your first real feature and uh, we've noticed the smiley on top of the corner of the feature tab. This is an indication how satisfied our user, your users are. So currently, they're not too happy because your new feature is too low level. So this is not unusual. So you hurry up and you get the feature out and the users don't like it. You will need to hire a new lead developer in order to create the required module. I have a problem with my lead developer. The lead developer seems to go home whether or not the task is done. The company is hanging by a wire here and needs that functionality to be completed. She's 97% completed and decided to go home before finishing up her work. Um, not only that, but she does seem to be working very slowly. So obviously we need to have a talk with Lydia Gonzalez. Good news, bad news. The good news is our marketing campaign and our new functionality is working and we have a lot of new users. 
but with that comes the burden of having to host them properly and our system is going crazy and we're at risk here. So we hired a system admin. He's working on the back end on the hosting side of things because God forbid if, if that busts up on us then that means the whole site goes down. Meanwhile I'm noticing that I've got a couple unhappy employees who um, start coming in later, they're not performing at very optimal capacities. You can't ignore your people problems because that is something that uh, you depend on in order to function, in order to reach your goals. So Sean Hampton, who's the designer we hired very early on, seems quite unhappy. He's only at 56% level. His demand is that we go to a seven uh, hour work day, that we get a coffee machine, that uh, we get him a small retirement plan. Coffee machine, great way to get employees happy. Small retirement plan, we're just a little bit too early of a company to be starting retirement plans. We're barely making it by with the money that we have. And seven hour workday, very unreasonable in a startup. If you want a seven hour work, work day, do not work in a startup. Uh, startups are notorious for long hours. We all need to pull together to make this happen. This game is telling me that we cannot afford a coffee machine and that instead I can offer him a $2,400 bonus. I think I'll take the $200 out of my pocket and buy a really good coffee machine and call it a day. Aha, upgraded one more time. We can add functionality on the server and that uh, got us out of hot water for at least a moment. Looking at our cash flow over here, we're at $8,100. This isn't great. We're gonna have to get to the next milestone pretty quickly. That's uh, predicated on us reaching the 75% satisfaction rate on our comment page. Satisfaction is at 70%. We need to be at 75, so we're not too far. Here's some good news. Um, in looking at our stats, we are at 73,000 registered users, 89,000 potential users, and our valuation's gone up to $600,000. And considering we just started, this isn't so bad. As soon as we get more money, we'll start increasing the marketing budget again. I'm very low on cash, and I need my people to perform. I am uh, literally one widget away from being able to upgrade uh, to where I'll get more cash. Working against a clock here, hopefully we'll make it happen. He is a very fast guy. We did make a great hire with him. We have $798 left in the bank. This is not a good place to be. Never would be realistic in a company to be that low. And we made it, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> Here it is. We launched our new feature. We're at 75% satisfaction rate. And we got more money, so we're now back up to $121,000. This is a lot of fun. It's a great game to kind of show what really goes on in a startup and all of the different elements that you have to deal with, or at least most of them. But this really did simulate well the interaction between having to hire people, having to manage them, having to get them to be effective, and how their efficiency directly affects your business and your ability to survive in those early days of a startup.